So not only is the sun our source of light, but it's also our source of heat. And so when the moon stands in front of the sun, we lose that source of heat for about that three minutes. And so it's gonna feel colder. I'm Aurelia Derhak. I am a graduating senior at SUNY Geneseo. I study physics and I am an Eclipse ambassador. The goal of being an Eclipse ambassador is to provide um, information about what happens during a total solar eclipse. So I have been going to different schools with my professor, Dr. Steinhauer, explaining to students about what's going on and giving them knowledge and information about what's um, gonna be happening. The Pleiades cluster is right there. Gemini is there. The stars are gonna come out at three o'clock in the afternoon on a random Monday in April. I hope the students leave with the excitement and the ability to ask why questions. Um, we ask them a lot in our presentation and so giving them some exposure, um, not only when the total eclipse ends, but moving that forward and understanding the world around them. Being able to have experiences in college with researching space and having this opportunity to teach kids about space um, has helped me have more of that passion and also share that excitement and passion um, for new minds out there who aren't too sure what they want, um, but they know that if that one person that came into the classroom that talked about it can do it, then I can do it too. The total solar eclipse on April 8th is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so you don't want to miss it. You want to have fun, but remember to stay safe.